Kayla, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Mind blowing time. Oh no! <laughs> Let's do it. So, so I was gonna ask, what's the most efficient way to travel through the air? And and what was the first uh, official airship or plane or something to well, I, fly with? Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say, I I thought that the first like mainstream air travel was. What was the Hilden? Was it the Hildenberg? What is, what do you call oh, those? Like the yeah, Hildenberg uh, ships. Yep, the Hildenberg. Hind Hindenburg. 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 What are those things called? <laughs> uh, airships, they, aren't they? Airships. They're not blimps. They're called airships. Okay, that That's was what, what I thought was the old. first most efficient air travel, like modernized air travel. But yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I kind of remember. Which Caleb, I mean, hot air balloon. That probably is by like the winter. No, I mean <laughs> oh, it kind of is like a hot air balloon, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but but where wh where did those go? What do you? Well, mean? one crashed and blew up, and then they went away. Right. The, the or on purpose. Or was it a, a scheme to get us hooked on oil, petroleum, and fuel? Because they were too efficient and cheap, and they didn't want them around anymore. Well, I do know they were super efficient. Like, sure. for what it took for volume of helium and this and that, for what they could haul, yeah. that they were, could make monster airships that could move cargo and people around super efficient. So, after right. that disaster, was that the last time we ever saw them? Did they quit yeah. flying after that? So, they, yeah, they that was it. They had one disaster. Hmm. They had a Titanic moment in the air, yeah. and that was in the United States, wasn't it? In Germany. New York. Oh, I thought uh, it came uh, from Germany, but I don't. I don't remember. Uh it might have. I, but it wasn't it might be right there. Was it? You don't know about the. Oh, it Hindenburg? was hydrogen. It wasn't helium. But hydrogen. Oh, yeah, hi hydrogen. hydrogen I think. Yeah. 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 You you don't know anything about this, Holly? Not at all. There's no. footage out there of the massive fireball, or maybe it might have been still photos. I don't remember, but it's a massive fireball. I think it may have killed more people on the ground than it did in the air. What? Yeah, it might have. Because it was coming to dock. It. Yeah, it was coming to dock. Yeah, the old what is this so the big ship. What did you call airship. it? Airship. airship. Like a blip, like the Goodyear blimp. Yeah. See that the one? It's kind of like yeah. that. So in like the buildings, Empire State Building and, and uh, the Capitol buildings had what they called mooring stations, which were at the top. And these things docked to the top mm -hmm. of these buildings and people would get on. Did you ever see Indiana Jones? Uh, Crusaders? Of oh, Lockhart? yeah, there is one of those in there. Yeah. And he's like, tickets? And he starts knocking them out. <laughs> Remember that? No. no. <laughs> there was uh, a luxury. Like the medicine me, she's on. Because I watched a show... Or a movie? Oh, I got a video not too long ago about the airship, like uh, the creator of the airship. Huh. And now it's well, it, it literally within this week. And I cannot remember if it was like a real story or if it was fake. Now, I don't remember what it was. It probably it's a real one, but I got a video. So, okay. We'll, we'll, it'll maybe refresh your memory. Okay. From docking off from the Eiffel Tower to fishing via airship in a lake in California. One of the main reasons I believe they got rid of these. Having a personal flying craft. A vessel of personal exploration. Where the possibilities and locations are limitless. That's something the parasites could not keep around. Cutting out the airships hindered not only our freedoms. It also solidified our dependency on oil for the next century and setting up a narrative of how these fossil fuels are so limited. And with everything running on it, they had to charge a premium, as well as setting up realm-wide wars for the next century, fighting over the perceived precious 
limited resource of oil. Many ask with these airship photos why they never seen them before. In short, blame our history that we're taught, as I said in my previous video, leaving out all the good parts to keep it as boring and mundane as possible. And also, most have never even thought to look for them. I have, including schematics, like these mooring stations. And if you look to the left there, that's how they unloaded the passengers in these towers. Here's some schematics on them. They're real complex buildings for the time we're told. These mooring stations were built on top of skyscrapers, equipped with elevators and stairs. That was the beauty of them over airports. They could be built anywhere, even on ships. They would have been a sight to see. Question everything, friends. Until next time. Wow. Interesting. Wouldn't that have been sweet? Like, some of those even had, like, you go on a cruise on a ship, like, at the tops, they had places you could walk out. And like how many out, people eat, could drink. it hold? Like how many passengers did it keep? In the air. Uh, I'm not for sure about I'm that, sure. but quite a bit. Was it? Like it was probably it was significantly more than like a 747. Wow. Hmm. You're muted. I think. Yeah, I am muted. Sorry. Oh, uh, you always see those little baskets, like the Goodyear blimp. There's like four people inside or whatever, but the original ones would carry a lot of people. I just don't remember how many. I think it would, like Greg said, equivalent to like airlines nowadays being able to carry hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Were they very fast? I don't know. Uh, they weren't like, I don't think they were super fast. I mean, they weren't like a, a jet or nothing. See, I'm old but... enough to remember John Madden taking his bus and rating, or racing the blimp from one football game to another football game. Uh huh. And he didn't think that the blimp would win. But what he forgot about was he didn't have to follow the same roads he was on. And there was no traffic. It was just a straight line. And the blimp beat him, and uh, he had to pay a bet or back or something. I don't remember. Well, I, I didn't know that, but I was going to guess they're probably a little faster than a car. Comparable. Maybe. Yeah, I guess they say that about plane. like oh. live flight helicopters and things like that. They're not that they're necessarily that fast. Is that they, there's no traffic, and they can literally fly in a straight line. So you don't have you know things to go around and this and that. So. Oh, Nick said 130 people max in the Hindenburg. That's so, yeah, that would, yeah, yeah. It would be less than a 747, but still. Yeah, it's interesting. It's cool. Maybe, yeah. Greg, is it possible that maybe the reason they're not around is that technology just was no good anymore? I don't think so. <laughs> I knew you did it. Not a cryptic corner. Not, a, not <laughs> at all. Not what at you, all. Why do you think it happened, Greg? I think it was too cheap, yeah. too easy and cheap, and we can't have people getting around or to go wherever they want and see everything for super cheap. Because once those things are flying, they're flying. What if you caught in the storm? Are you screwed? What's that? Don't touch it. If you, it don't. If you caught in the storm, is it going to blow you away? Like <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I would be scared. I feel like I don't want to. I mean. If you if you fly a plane in a tornado, what happens? I'm Avoid the storm. How <laughs> <laughs> about just go above the clouds? Yeah. <laughs> I, that, you know, any of the traveling, though, if you really think about it, every time you get in your vehicle, there's a chance you're not making it to where you're supposed to be. True. And it may be yeah. no fault of your own, right? Yeah. I mean, we've probably all, unfortunately, known somebody that was killed in a car wreck. But... Is it not to you guys just a little bit weird when you're stuck into what seems like a sardine can of an airplane smashed together, you know, shoulder to shoulder, knowing you have zero control over what's about to happen? Like that turbulence hits or for it doesn't like I'll fly, obviously, but it is not my favorite thing because I have no control over any of it. I feel like in a car, I can at least dodge something. No, but... you can still count. You really. <laughs> Honestly, it depends on what type of accident you're in in a car. Some things you just can't control. Like there Agreed. is no Agreed. end of it. But that's the same with, I, I never understood like why they get all butthurt. I don't wear my freaking seatbelt in an airplane. What yeah. does that have to do for yeah. me? Right. What? Yeah. Nothing? The placebo effect? Not? That's all <laughs> it is. Because <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, that little You'll flotation device, you're never going to need that thing, I don't think. <laughs> no, <you're not> <laughs> I mean, no. I guess you can, but 
May Day, yeah. huh? All right. Meg said binge watch May Day. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, but I'll I'll check it out. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe.